What's up guys, it's Ben. Today is Thursday and it's about to be a very long and fun weekend. We are hitting the 127 World's Longest Yard Sale and hopefully finding a bunch of treasure. If you guys don't know, the World's Longest Yard Sale runs from Michigan all the way down to Alabama and cuts straight through Cincinnati where I live. And we are currently gonna head down south today through like the Florence area and then in between Florence and Frankfurt most likely and hopefully find some deals. Um, there's going to be a lot of dealers and a lot of junk just like there is every year, but hopefully there's going to be a little treasure mixed in. So let's get to it. Here we go. What were you asking on the jackets and vests? Uh, this one's 70. Okay. This one's 50. Okay. This one costed me 400. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. So I got 5, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 20, we do 25. Cool. I, can I have my hangers? Yeah, of course. You take those off. I can hang more stuff off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, we just had our first pickups. We got some Harley stuff. We got this one, this one, this one's like a light hoodie, a flannel, and a pair of Miss Me's. Yeah, oh, one more. Yeah, I was like, I knew I got one more. And a mechanic shirt. It's got the big spell out on the back. And all of that was $25. Not bad. Alright, so we picked up this Barney Rubble and this Dino cookie jar. They're pretty cool. Um, paid 10 bucks for both of them. I don't know what they're worth, but they're made by Hanna-Barbera, so I figured they're vintage. They might be worth something. Um, but for 10 bucks, I wasn't going to pass them up. I like them for 10 bucks. Alright, you want me to show you what I'm interested in? So I was interested in these games, the iPods, the Wii U, the two. Okay. And then the two phones. Uh, and the bag. Is that it? Uh, yeah, I believe so, yeah. Two phones. The Wii U have all its parts. Yeah, you looked at it, didn't you? Yeah, I looked at it. Everything was in there. What did you do, 125? I, I'll do 125. How about 140 with that included? Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'll do all that then. Where are we asking on that? It's yeah, thermometer. It's like one of the digital thermometers. Do a buck for it? Yeah. Cool. Let me see if I can't find anything else. What were you asking on the Xbox? 100. 100. 
two Xboxes or whatever. I, I don't know about game. Everything's there. There's two different boxes, what the hell is and everything. Okay. It all works. It's been hooked up. Okay. Let me check that out. That's recorded. It works, too. You take another buck on that guy? Yeah. Two bucks? Yeah. Cool. Just a little tip for you guys. If you're coming out to sales like this, put a cooler of water in your trunk. It's worth the extra space. I've had like three waters so far today, and man, I am so glad that I put a cooler in my trunk. If you're coming out to the sales and it's hot, do it. Shoes are 15. These ones are? Yeah. And the purse was 5. Okay. Sarah? I sold everything. Sarah's white. This is. Did you do 10 on these? He won't let me today. Okay, that's fine. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I, he bought it's, them for 50 and. It's, he it's understandable. I found my purse. These might be the score of the day. If I'm not mistaken these are like $200 shoes and they are pristine we're just grabbing some lunch here from the food mart gas station got some potato wedges can't run on an empty stomach Where are you on that? Five bucks. Five bucks? Okay. I'll put your hanger back up here. It is really hot now and I had to put a shirt on because my shoulders were starting to get all burnt and man I could feel it just start getting raw but it's about four o'clock right now we're gonna keep heading down maybe we'll stop and uh, camp out for the night maybe we'll head home I'm still not sure but uh, I'll let you guys know for sure as it happens but it's four o'clock I'm still out sailing and I think we'll stay out till at least six maybe seven o'clock depends when people start packing up but yeah just want to give you an update I'll just see how much these were. Right over there on the corner of that.
we made it down to where we were heading, where we ended at yesterday, and we we're actually leaving that sale right there. And I ended up paying $10 for a few things. I got these North Face Summit Series boots. I got a Michael Kors watch and a pair of Ray-Ban glasses and this Apple Watch case for $10. So that was not bad at all. So today's going kind of slow. We've only found a few things and I mean it's kind of be expected. It's the second day of the sale but I was hoping for a little more sales. It's pretty scattered out and spread out where I am right now. Um, and there's not just there's just not much to find. If uh, if I could describe the 127 sale to somebody who's never went, I'd be like, it's a lot of dealers, it's a lot of junk, with a little treasure mixed in. And you gotta hunt for that treasure. So we're gonna keep going, we're gonna find some more treasure. We still got a couple hours left, so let's do it. What are you asking on toys? I mean, if I get a bunch of these little, the Mighty Maxes, if I get a bunch of these guys. I'd like to have two dollars a piece. Two bucks a piece? Let's see what we come out to when I go through these real fast. The one Mighty Max, the big one. The big red one? That, yeah, that guy? That's $4. Yeah. That's we'll, we'll figure out a deal on everything. I'm not too worried about it. You got some... I, I like toys, and I haven't come across that a bunch like since I started the, well, this morning. Well, my sons, will be 32. Yeah. Well, they, a lot of them are the 80s and 90s, which yeah. is the stuff I like, so... Well, they're also collectibles, the comic shops. Would you consider an offer on all of them? Like, what would you think? I don't know. Make me an offer on what you want. I'd be like, the, the stuff I'm looking through now, the Power Rangers and stuff, the weapons, and the box of that. I don't know what's in these ones. Some things to the comic shop to see if I could sell some of them. I got you. Like this, and then those. He's got a Power Ranger in here. There's a couple of the they, Zords. They go together. Yeah. And make one big one. You have to make me a good offer. Okay. I'll just pick through it then. I'm ready to, whenever you are. Okay. I think so. So I'm gonna get all this stuff. So whatever you're thinking, let me know and. Make me an offer. Uh, like a hundred bucks. Okay. Cool. I think that's fair. 
Here we are, day three of the 127 sale. Today we're heading up into a more residential area. Um, I kind of avoid these kind of places because with the residential areas, it's always congested and it's always clogged. Um, hard to find parking and people are just flocking these areas because they're usually more towards the populated cities. Um, but we're gonna push through it, head out and find some treasure, hopefully, we're gonna buy more than we did yesterday. Here we go. All right, so we just had our first couple pickups. We got this AM FM radio, it's sealed Radio Shack. Um, so Radio Shack's not the best brand, but I figured sealed. It can't hurt to try on that guy, got it for a buck. And these next ones were 50 cents a piece. Um, they're advanced Dungeon and Dragons figures. They're, they're vintage ones, so I know vintage Dungeon and Dragons does do very well. Some of the stuff is like thousands, but um, I figured for 50 cents a piece on these little figures. I can't go wrong. So we got this is War Duke Evil Fighter, um, Kellek Evil Sorcerer, and this is a transfer ring. So I don't I don't think this one's D and I think this is something else. But either way, I figured for 50 cents a piece. I can't go wrong. Um, I expect the the figures and stuff to you know sealed like that. I, I expect them to do well. So. I'll let you guys know exactly what they're worth once I look them up. Either way, let's keep going. Yeah, they're the bindings. Did you throw that dog pack in with it? Sure. Cool. Alright, so just a quick update. Um, we picked up a few more items since the last time I checked in. We picked up a mountain hardware hiking pack, a dog pack, and this F. Dick um, knife bag. If you don't know this brand right here, that's a bolo for sure. Their knives go for like hundreds of dollars. So if you see those knives, you better snatch them up. But we just pulled up to the next sale. I'm gonna keep going for a little bit. It's about noon right now. I'm gonna go grab some um, food that's a, that'll be up here in a second and keep heading out. Um, hopefully we'll stay out till about three today. A lot of the sales are picked through because it's been going on for two days now, but we're gonna push through and hopefully we'll find stuff people picked over like we have so far. And yeah, see you in a little bit. All right, that's actually going to wrap up this part of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. This was just the uh, filming that I did throughout the weekend. Um, the next part will be the actual haul, and I'll go through everything in depth of what I picked up. I just didn't want this video to go too long. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Until the next video, which should be the day after this one drops, I'll see you then. Peace.